Hey guys, PC Attic 365 here with you. Um, today we're going to be taking a quick look at uh, PS Touch for the Samsung Note 10.1. So here's a quick look at the Samsung Note. Check out my uh, channel for other videos, but today we're focusing on uh, PS Touch. All right, hey guys, PC Attic 365 here with you today, and what we are looking at is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1, and I'm going to be showing you PS Touch, Photoshop Touch for the Galaxy, give you an overview of it. Um, cool thing, you just push the little app icon there, and uh, next thing you know, you're into it, and you have tutorials or introduction, or you can load a photo right here, but let's go back and go to tutorials so if you don't know how to do something you actually have tutorials on here that will walk you through step by step on how to do stuff so if you don't know how to paint with effects you can just click on painting with effects and it'll basically walk you right through how to do it so you just click begin tutorial And then it'll say uh, tap and drag to select the paint tool. So I'll tap, go down to paint tool, and then OK, what next? You push this little button right here. And then it'll say paint with an effect. So down here it says tap mode, effect to paint with an effect instead of a color. So you tap mode and then you select effect. So once you have a uh, effect done then you go okay now what then it says select the black and white effect so click here then you got black and white then it says uh, reduce the brush size to about 30 so you click brush and then size go to about 30 then paint everything but the horse to make the entire background black and white so then you just start painting like this. I should be using the stylus, but whatever. So yeah, you can make everything black and white. And it'll basically, it's really cool because it walks you through how to do stuff. Like if you're a beginner and you don't know how to use Photoshop or anything. And it might give you even some creative ideas on what to do with your uh, other pictures. So that's a neat way to learn, actually. So anyways, they'll just keep walking you through step by step. So that's that part of it. Um, closed tutorial. But they have different ones, you know, how to make a painting, uh, photo frame stuff. Um, the painting one, that's kind of neat. They went from a photo and then made it look like an actual uh, painting. It doesn't show up very good in the video. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, pretty neat stuff. So let's get out of the tutorials. Go click here if you want. You can uh, use local photos, the cloud photos, camera, Google, Facebook, wherever you have photos from. So let's go local ones. There, go to image. There, click that and just add an image. And then, all right, this brings you into the actual PS Touch program. And again, on the side here, you have your brush, your modes, your black and white settings, whatever you want. Um, up top is to uh, add a photo. You want to add another photo or not. Um, pen, if you want to cut, copy, copy merged. Um, just different stuff like that. This one here, select, uh, select all, select pixels. This just gets rid of this bar here. Okay, this one here gets rid of the bottom bar, or shows you, uh, sorry, shows you all your other different little widgets and stuff, if you want to start up another one. Um, this one here lets you move the picture around, like this, and put that back, cancel. Uh, this one here, okay, here's your adjustments. You have black and white, saturation, auto fix, temperature, brightness, contrast, replace color, shadows and highlights, invert, levels, and curves. I could walk you through and show you how to use a bunch of the different ones if you want. Um, 
Let's just do a couple saturation. Drag that down. You can have it black and white if you want. Or in the middle would be a little black and white, but yet a little color in the middle of it. So we'll leave it up at 100. Cancel that. Um, color balance. This here you can adjust your reds and greens and blues. That's too much. But just give you an idea if you want a little more color in there. A little less color. However you want to make it look, you know. You can do some really cool stuff with it. But if you go too far then it looks like absolute garbage. So keep your stuff within line I mean however you want to make it look but alright so that's those effects um, yeah basic effects stylized effects artistic effects and photo effects so under each one of these is a sub menu with your different effects on it like you have uh, Gaussian blur directional blur sharpen uh, bevel, glow, drop shadow, edges, tint, and lighting under basics. Under stylized, you have multi gradient map, half tone pattern, threshold, glass, posterized color, and old photocopy. Under artistic, you have graphic pen, chalk and charcoal, pencil, comic, color drop, scratches, watercolor paint, and acrylic paint. So, as you can see, they give you a lot of different options here. and Pretty much, you're, it's almost limited by your imagination what you want to do to photos. Um, under photo effects, you have old sepia, sleepy hollow, sunny afternoon, moonlight, soft light, HDR look, and soft skin. So if we select HDR look, then you can just adjust the uh, intensity of it for how much you want it to look like. So pretty neat. Um, then over here, you have crop, image size, rotate, fill and stroke, add text, add gradient, warp. Um, I mean, I could go into detail on all this stuff a lot more, but it's I'm just showing you all the different options you have. This here just clears everything up. Um, this here is if you want to add new layer and stuff, um, blend opacity and whatnot. Here's your layer here, so pretty cool. All right, that was a uh, quick look at PS Touch for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. Hope you enjoyed it. Watch my other videos, uh, PC Attic 365. Stay tuned for more.